Oh, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cooter. And today I brought you something that probably will help you just escape from this apocalyptic nightmare that we call modernity. Today I brought you some exercise to do dynamic poses so we can be happy together. So these exercises are for beginners. So this is a short, short, short uh, example of the way that I do poses and I show you my way to understand the human anatomy and yeah and i hope will i hope i hope i really hope that it is useful for you some in some way uh i don't know oh and before we start uh i have my patreon set up if you want to see exclusive content and my work behind the scenes uh you can go to my patreon i will just put one tier <gasps> of three dollars uh, if you want to just, you know, just drop uh, like three bucks uh, at me and just watch some pages that I will, that, that I'm not posting nowhere else and pages that there were censored on webtoons that will be posted there. So whatever, whoever enjoys my stories, my precious and beloved readers. You can just find the uncensored pages on my Patreon. So I will encourage anybody who is interested in my work to stay tuned with my social medias and my Patreon. And yeah, I'm starting using Twitter now and I'm a retard. So you can just clown on me on Twitter. I don't care. Follow me. So, yeah, we can just start right now with some exercise. Well, 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 before I explain to you how to draw dynamic poses, we have to understand a simple technique that I call the mannequin. You will ask, what is a mannequin? in drawings or in poses what they have to do with this well it has to do with everything because all character drawings start as mannequins it's a simple way to understand the human anatomy it's a technique made of a simple volumes and forms that explain the force and the movement and the gravity of every one of your characters or poses so let's dissect the technique that i'm talking about there is the mannequin so here we have an example to how is the division and a way to understand the human body in an easier way we he see here the division from the torso and the hips and the arms and how these forms, they are kind of like a cylinder, can help you out to understand the different dimensions that you can put your character in. Whenever you are trying to create a new pose or a new way to present your character. For this technique to work, you have to memorize the mannequin. You have to memorize where everything is is placed so you have a mental frame where you can work and do different poses in a 3d way another thing to remember is that our characters have to be to seven to eight heads tall and in this way we use in the middle of this diagram to measure the height and the perspective that we want to put 
in our poses. But this is part of the memorization that you guys have to do. This is a good exercise that you can practice at home. And whenever you are ready, ready, like you already learned this exercise, then you can go to approach different poses and you can get a little experimental with this new technique. The goal to understand this exercise and the mannequin and this uh, stiff position is to get everything in order first in your head. So you understand this mannequin and then we can start adding detail in the lineup and we are looking in a finished up uh, sketch and in this way you you are getting in a more intuitive and comprehensive way where everything has to be placed in this mannequin so that's the goal but we are not going there yet but I will just give you a little tease so you can understand where I'm going with this exercise. Okay, so let's start with some new poses. And when we're gonna play with the mannequin or we start drawing the mannequin, we have to be clear where is the perspective or where all the power and the movement will go. What I'm doing here is kind of like signaling where the power of the movement will go and where my puppet will be standing when I'm drawing this kind of like a square shape and now I'm constructing the details of the mannequin so I have a better understanding of the pose and I'm gonna work in the positions of the arms too because we have to understand this mannequin to a point that we are drawing it in a 3D way so we understand everything about this technique and the mannequin so we see the movements more clearly and it will be more easier for us to get to the final sketch so yeah I, I was working in the power of the arm there because I'm gonna draw of course a sword because I like uh, katanas and this is kind of like imagine like a samurai kind of stuff yeah the cool stuff so this is how you can use the mannequin when whenever you already are done with the first exercise that I already told you and this is the kind of stuff that you can you are able to do when you understand the mannequin you see the force is go forwards and upwards and the shadows are directed by the shape and the perspective so this is how we play with the mannequin so yeah you can do this exercise too so let's do another exercise now I'm drawing a figure that is running so I will use the mannequin to try to explain the perspective of his movement so I have to first find the ground in my drawing so I have very clearance on the perspective and if you see I'm struggling a little bit but I'm catching up and whenever we get the, the, the level ground we have to tilt a little bit the torso so it fits with the movement and then we draw the arms in uh, with the cylinders so we got a better representation 
of the perspective and there you go here's the level ground and we tilt a little bit the hips so it seems more dynamic so let's go and start doing another pose this time I'm trying to do a pose that kind of like it reflects the movement in the middle of a fighting more like a, this is a comic ish pose and with the mannequin we are able to kind of like understand a little bit better how we can do more heroic poses too so I would recommend to try to do more exaggerated poses with this mannequin and you can see whenever you are drawing and put everything into place you will find your errors and your flaws in the figure so you have to correct yourself that's why you have to practice this kind of like every day if you are a really really a beginner so you can have like you get this quick and it will be more easier to for you to do more dynamic poses like this like just imagine the 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 scenario like he just was throw away in in the middle of the fight and he just gaining his ground getting a little more power to just bounce back so you can see the movements and yeah okay so let's do this last pose and if you already see what i'm trying to accomplish is to kind of like a, a common pose for a fighter or someone who's doing karate or something like that so yeah kicking with with his his leg so yeah and I always work in, in trying to understand the the movement and plus where everything has to be placed. The well, that's why I'm telling you you have to practice the mannequin because when you you memorize everything, it becomes more easier for you to fit everything together and to make sense in your head. So, yeah, where I determine here in this drawing is my ground and kind of like where the power and the movement of this pose will go. It goes upward, but where the, the balance is found is in the hips. So we have to move the arms because the arms help the balance of the body so we have to extend a little bit the arms too from the ground up we see this high kick going forward and with these lines that tilt the hips and the shoulder we determine the direction of the movements of this figure so yeah this is how we play with this mannequin technique and I fully recommend anybody who is hearing this to do some more poses but by yourself try to experiment with real photograph of real people try to decipher their poses with the mannequin that's how you can gain more experience with this technique and yeah this is all for this video i will see you guys in the next one be nice with people drive safe stay hydrated and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye hi again sorry to bother I just wanted to show you guys some of my work these are some chapters that I already did they are published and available for you to read if you like horror 
if you like creatures you like weird stuff like me i will encourage you to read my anthology of horror stories called dark tales you can find me on webtoons if you want to you can follow me on my social media and yeah that will be all thank you bye bye oh i almost forgot if you like this content please i'm begging you leave a like subscribe and hit the bell it's free baby <laughs>